Are you stuck? Are you stuck in your business life, in your professional life? If you're stuck, you'll know it. In fact, if you're watching this and you're looking to develop personally, you know that you need something to break through, don't you? Well, you've come to the right place. In fact, you're at the right place at the right time. Did you know that when you're stuck in your business life, it's often a reflection of something in your personal life or something personal to you? You know, at times you probably feel like you're taking one step forward and taking two steps back. It seems like you're not getting anywhere. You're trying and trying, but you just can't break through. You can't do it. And that leads to a ton of frustration, doesn't it? In fact, it can be so frustrating that it makes you want to quit what you're trying to do. It makes you want to kind of jump back into something familiar. And I say familiar because what's familiar is not necessarily something that's ideal. The ideal situation is probably what you're looking for, but you're so frustrated you just go back to what you know. Maybe it's that job, working for you know like $10 an hour, working for a boss that tells you when you can take your breaks, when you can eat, when you can go home at night, when you can spend time with your family, working insane amounts of hours. It's not ideal, but it's what most of us know, isn't it? It's not where we want to be. So how can we break this vicious cycle? Well, really what we just described there is a very common trap that a lot of people, in fact, do face. But there is a way to break that. In fact, if we don't break it, it's going to set you even farther back than where you're at right now or where you think you're at. Frustration is, in fact, a very, very good thing. What it really means is that your mind is trying to solve a problem, is trying to say, hey, I'm, I'm working on this. I want to break through this, but I just don't have enough resources to draw on. I can't make certain connections. So how can we break through that? Well, it's education. We need to educate ourselves. What specific thing are we trying to achieve? Well, we're going to show you how you can take one step back, but two steps forwards. And we're going to do it through a, uh, a three-step plan. Very simple very easy to do. The first thing you need to do is set your intentions. You need to be clear in what you want. And chances are, if you're stuck, if you're frustrated, you are not clear in your intentions. That's just the way that it works. So you need to take that one step back. You need to figure out what your intentions are. Not something specific like, I want to make money or I want to pay off some bills every month. It's not clear enough. You need to be dead clear on what it is that you want. So when you take the time to do that, you figure out your intentions, this is where everything starts from here. That's your one step back. When you figure out what your particular intention is, you can actually educate yourself on exactly that goal, that thing that you need to do. There's a phone ringing in the background. How awesome is that? No, but once you have your intentions set and you educate yourself on that, the next thing that you need to do, step two, this is going to be your first step forward, is to devise a strategy. Because you can have all the best intentions in the world, but if you don't have a strategy of how you want to achieve them, nothing's going to happen. So you get your strategy laid out, you take a little bit more time, it's your first small step forward. You educate yourself, you feed your mind the things it needs, because it will work towards the solution to your problem, the solution to your frustration, if you give it the chance to, if you feed it properly. The third step is to take massive action. You have to take action on your goal. If you have your intent and your strategy, but you never implement it, again, you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to say it, stay in the same spot. So you take action, you move forward. That's your second step forward. So you've taken the one step back. You're now taking your two steps forward. And you can stop and readjust anytime you want. But you might ask, well, what if I'm not taking the right action? You know, it really doesn't matter. As long as you're doing something towards your goal. Um, think of a missile guidance system. I actually heard this once. Uh, when a missile is fired off and it's heading towards its target, do you think it just flies straight perfectly towards its target? But it has to take into account tons of tiny course corrections and take into account the wind and, and other variables and factors. It's doing millions of calculations per second, but it's always course correcting. When they shot a rocket to the moon, it wasn't straight there. They would course correct until finally it hit 
that perfect spot that they were aiming for. But it all has to do with course corrections, and they couldn't correct a course if there was no movement along the course, the target that they were heading to. So take action. That is extremely important. That's your second step forward, and it's going to make some massive changes. I think of I think of uh, one more story. I was thinking about this. It's like um, going on a trip. You want to take your family somewhere. Maybe you want to take them to Disneyland, or you want to take them somewhere like that. So you plan it all out, and you figure out: Are we flying there? Are we driving there? You devise your strategy for going. But if if you never get in your car, you never turn it on. You're not going to get anywhere. You're gonna you're not even going to achieve what you you're setting out to do. So you have to get in your car and start driving. Maybe there's traffic stuff. You have to reroute you're going to get to your destination as long as you keep trying, as long as you keep taking that action. So when your mind is stuck, it's a good thing. If you're frustrated, it's a good thing. That's your mind saying, hey, I'm, I'm trying to work on this problem. I just need you to give me a little bit of help. And that's all you need to do. You need to sit back, you need to think about what it is that you want, and you need to educate yourself in the right direction in the, in the right areas that you need to succeed and your mind will be more than happy to help you make those connections and break through that frustration. So remember that every time that you're frustrated, it's a good thing. It means you're lacking something. You just have to get clear on what it is that you want and fill in those blanks, allow your subconscious to fill in those blanks to help you move along to the right direction. So simple three-step system. If you're ever stuck, be sure to follow that. First of all, set your intentions. Always set your intentions for anything you do. Second, devise a strategy. You need to have a strategy. You need to know how you're going to accomplish your certain goal. And thirdly, take massive action. Do these things and you'll succeed no matter what circumstance you're in, no matter how stuck you are, and it's going to be great. And as always, you can do this because I believe in you.